Hello my friends and welcome to another Tuesday of Tutorial. I am Leonardo Perez Nieto and today we will paint a butcher jar in watercolor. We begin marking a vertical and horizontal axis and then sketching the broad general shape. The horizontal line is for the branch and it's about half the height of the drawing. We draw the eye and give it shape to the head. The eye goes actually higher and we profile the beak. We begin with the very general shapes and then we do more and more detail. We can erase the lines that we don't need anymore. I have been sketching with pencils so as to be able to erase, specifically using my 2 to 3 mechanical pencil. Having a decent sketch, I switch to a fine marker, because this painting will be actually a combination of watercolor and marker. With this I do the outline, do some feathers, the eye and the parts that will be black. Very good! Let's also outline the branch. After applying the marker and waiting for it to dry well, we may erase the pencil so that the drawing looks cleaner. And now we are ready! We mix a green for the background. The bird will be blue and it will have a green background and even with different tones to give an effect of foliage out of focus for the background. With water and a brush, we get the paper wet, but saving the subject. And being wet, we apply the color. First, we can give it a fairly even layer of light green, so that everything will have at least a tone. And over that, still on wet, we apply more color, more intense, and of different tonalities. So as to give the effect I talked to you about, of a green background out of focus. Good! We mix the blue and now we do the reverse, that is, get the bird wet. And we apply some light grey on part of the head, the blue on the body, which can have variations. When all this is dry, we can give it another layer to make the colors more intense. As you see, now I'm painting on a dry paper. So that the line doesn't show, I smudge it with a little water making the border damped. I'm referring to the border between the white head and the blue of the body. The feathers of the tail are darker, but we leave some ends or borders a little lighter so as to show that there are different feathers. The fingers are pink, and now on the dry paper we can do some more detail, marking more feathers, the beak, and things like that. By the way, I did this tutorial of this bird following a request from you. I hope you like it. We shade the lower part of the body, mix a brown and paint the branch, giving a shade as well. The last details and it's ready! If you enjoyed it, please give it a like, share it to your friends and subscribe to Finer Tips. And I will see you on Tuesday. Thank you.